Empty hospital beds, empty hallways, empty waiting rooms, all waiting for more casualties. The town of Ajdabia has been the epicenter of fighting in the east. Gaddafi forces have taken the town twice. Their latest attempt a few days ago was stopped by NATO airstrikes just 40 kilometers to the west. While only roughly 40 percent of its 125,000 residents have returned after fleeing, fighters from other cities have moved in as rebel forces prepare for a new offensive on Gaddafi positions. We are much more organized than we were when the uprising began, he tells us. Each team is working closely together with its own responsibilities. Yet these young men, most without any military training, face new tactics by experienced forces loyal to Murmar Gaddafi. Gaddafi forces are very smart, admits Walid. They have new artillery. We simply don't have the weapons of that caliber. The advance west is about to begin, as you can see, rebel forces bringing in more people, bringing in more weaponry. With the help of NATO, they are hoping they can inch all that much closer towards oil-rich Brega. Anti-Qaddafi fighters were forced out of the port city last month. Ajdabia sits between it and Benghazi, Libya's second largest city and seen as the bastion of rebel-controlled territory. At Ajdabia's main hospital, Naji Muftah Zui sifts through files of hundreds of people who have disappeared from the city since the fighting began in February. 702 people have gone missing in Ajdabia alone, he says. People are taken from their homes at night. An ambulance with three people in it went missing just the other day. At a conference in Rome earlier this week, rebels called for NATO to increase its airstrikes. The international community say they will not intervene on the ground. So these fighters are reliant on NATO's attacks from the air, not only to push further west, but to keep Gaddafi forces from pushing further east. And as Ajdabia lies in the crosshairs, with more bombs landing on its doorstep, more missing persons folders are likely to be landing on the desk of Naji Muftah. Natalie Carney for CCTV at the Western Gate in Ajdabia, Libya.